Hey guys, this is Captain Danny Hyun from ABC's Attraction. So today I'm going to talk about actually something very dear to my heart and probably something that you personally experienced too. Yeah, you. So I'm on my way home. I just came from New York and I'm going on a train to New Jersey. So I'm originally from New Jersey and that's where my parents live. So I'm actually going to my aunt's house right now to see my parents and everything. So one thing I realized about when I started pick up and now that I'm a full-time dating coach is that my parents never knew that I did pick up. So just like you, I was a student. And when I was a student, I never told my parents that I did this pick up thing. Now I retired from this really good looking job, this really cool job that my parents could tell all their friends about, something they could be very proud of. So that was me being a captain in the Air Force. That is a job that my mom and dad could tell everyone at church, everyone around their community of friends that, wow, my son is a captain in the Air Force. But look at the job I'm doing now. I told them I'm the Asian hitch or I'm a dating coach. They actually saw my reality TV show, Dating No Filter, and they're like, what do you do? You're a dating coach? And on the internet, they actually Googled me and they saw that I had women next to me. And right off the bat, they found out what I did. They saw that that I do this dating coach thing, they judge me. It's like, you teach guys how to pick up women. And yeah, I know guys, you probably had your parents, especially Asian parents tell you, hey, become a doctor, become a lawyer, and do all this. And if you did anything to look bad for the Asian culture, but most important of the family, they said stuff to you. So Ravi, right now though, you do have a job that your parents love, but you keep certain secrets. And I guarantee you probably, most likely, you're not telling them that you invested thousands of dollars, hours of your time when you pick up, right? Watching YouTube videos, investing in a boot camp, And you're like, what am I doing? How do I tell them? And that's the thing, guys. The biggest thing is you have to tell, you just have to tell your parents. Um, and the most important thing is maybe you're like, no, I don't want to tell my parents, right? So I actually told my parents exactly because I actually became a coach. But maybe as a student, you don't have to. So let me actually backtrack on that. If you become a coach, you gotta tell your parents because that's your living, that's your lifestyle. And you also, for me, I'm on YouTube, I'm a public figure. But when you tell your parents, you don't have to tell your parents that you invest in the bootcamp. But the biggest thing is if they do find out what you literally paid this money to a bootcamp, like, what are you doing? Then you gotta tell them, honestly, this is one thing I would say is like, you have to tell them why you're doing it because you want to find your girl. You want to find, uh, tell them you want grandchildren. You want a, you know, a wife. You want to see me have a wife. That's one of the best reasons because the thing about your parents is they will love you no matter what, but they want to love you in a very specific way. So they're not going to understand that you're doing this to get a wife or to have children, to have a family. They're not going to get it. Like, all that money, all the cars, BMWs, you get rich, become a lot, Doc Glory, girls just come to you. You and I both know that's not true. The biggest thing is that you have to tell them this is a way for you to get a wife and have grandchildren that they could that you could bring home them home to on a Sunday, you know? But that's the next thing, okay? Another thing that I realized when my uh, parents were telling them that I didn't pick up as a coach was I, I, I accept the fact that pickup has a very bad name. People think that pickup is manipulation of women. People think it's just trying to have sex with women. And I realized it can have a very bad negative aspect in the world, right? A lot of that's probably why a lot of you guys hide it, right? I used to hide it. I used to hide the fact that I learned pickup, but now I tell everyone. I tell especially the women I'm dating. Because for me, it led me to the self-development world. It led me to become a better man every single day. It led me to work out, it led me to meditate, it led me to read books. So another big thing is stop talking about just pickup. Tell your parents or even people that you love the most that this is what it led me to do, right? Because you guys know both. Like what pickup does is helps you improve your life in so many other ways. Because to actually be truly good at pickup, you have to study, you have to self-develop and you have to work on your inner game a lot. You have to tell them that it's more than just girls. And that's a big thing that I want you guys to realize. If you're truly ashamed to pick up, then you're making it all about girls. And one thing I do with pick up now that I'm a coach is I tell them my dream. I told my parents my dream, my passion. I really support my Asian brothers to become the best version of themselves. 
that's my big thing is I explained that this is more than just picking up girls. It's about my dream and passion. So like I said, when you tell your parents this, don't tell them, don't focus on picking up girls. It's more about becoming a better version of yourself. And if you frame it that way, and you say it's self-help, there's a possibility they'll accept it more. And the last thing I want to talk about this is just acceptance. So as I talk to you right now, I actually got into a huge fight with my parents. They didn't accept me, they actually rejected me. They didn't support what I do. So I want to say that at this point, I'm not going to try to change my parents' mind. I remember my friend told me this. Your parents are just the way you are. My parents are 60, 65 now. They pretty much have their lives, their values in life set. And I have no right to change that. If they have certain beliefs about their lives and they want to live their lives like this and if they truly believe this is the way to live, who am I to judge that? So one thing I realized is when my parents, I told them I retired my lucrative Air Force captain job from a dating coach. They're like, you're an idiot, you're a failure, what are you doing? Look, you have no house, you're literally just traveling the world doing all this, you're just partying, meeting girls. They made a lot of judgment, hateful comments to me, but they don't know what I do. They don't know that I, the first time I see a student is today how smiling I am. They don't know the first time a student said that's the most fun I ever had in years, that's the most confidence I've felt in years. They don't know when I see the first smile, even after getting rejected, after the student overcomes his AA and approaches me and says, oh my God, I can't believe I just did that, I'm so happy. They don't know what I see. They don't see, they don't see the lives I change. And yeah, one day on YouTube, maybe I'll capture that on video or something like that. But man, parents don't see that, they don't see how happy I get when I see a student literally change his life in front of my eyes. You don't see that amazing feeling that I, 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 I feel and also the smile, the happiness I see in my students. So in the end guys, it's just acceptance. You can't try to change your parents, you gotta just accept them the way they are. That's the big thing, accept your parents the way they are and just be you. I know it's harder said than done, but don't try to change your parents. If they, if they don't agree with what you do, I mean, get them the most beautiful grandchildren and show them the most beautiful wife. That's what I plan to do. My plan to do is, with my coaching industry, is change the, uh, you know, people's lives and also make a lot of money at the same time to contribute to them and take care of them. That's the only thing I do. If I fight back, pop back, they'll never understand what I went through. And I tried, I told them why I did pick up. About me getting rejected and being suicidal and all that stuff, they didn't care. They're like, it doesn't make sense then. Go do the lucrative captain job. But in the end, guys, it's just first accept who you are. The biggest thing is accept who your parents are. So I want to open up and share that because I know a lot of you guys are struggling to do this. All right? So Captain, out. Thanks for watching our video. I hope you liked it. And make sure you guys subscribe to this channel and watch all our other videos. Great news, too. Every Monday, we'll be putting out a new weekly video. That's right, we've got educational seminars, street interviews, uh, fun infield pickup videos, and anything else we can come up with that's fun for you guys to watch. So check 